He's back. Dat Boy Jr. is finally returning. It's been quite a while since we last heard back from Dat Boy Jr. So, g'day mate, how you going? We needed to check back in on Dat Boy Jr. after the incredible first season that we had with him. And when we talk about the absolutely amazing season that we had with him, I mean, he did only score two goals. For the entire first season, this bloke only scored two goals and I think registered like one assist. That was it. However, it was good in other ways. For example, we trained him up from a one overall to a 56 overall in just the first season. For any of you that are wondering how that compares to his father, the like great Dat Boy, unfortunately, he fell a little bit short, but not by too much. Dat Boy went up by 57 in his first overall. Dat Boy Jr., only 56. He was a little off the pace and he was a bit slow to get going, but he did eventually get better. Then we had an absolutely incredible end to our season when we qualified for the playoff final. Dat Boy Jr. to begin the game was slow, had a million chances and just missed them all. It was absolutely infuriating, but we were saved when he transformed into Super Boy Jr. I was starting to doubt that this man was even the descendant of the great Dat Boy, but that just sealed it. I was a little concerned watching that final too, because part of me thought that maybe this kid was an imposter, that he wasn't actually a descendant of the great Dat Boy. But right when I thought I lost all faith, he transformed into Super Boy Jr., leaving no doubt in my mind that this is the son of Dad Boy. He scored a cracking goal, 90th minute, won the game with virtually the final kick, and we are in League One. Hopefully now, he will actually kick on and score, oh, I don't know, more than two goals in one season. We also did some other pretty cool stuff in the first season. For example, we signed the unfortunate Bayern reject, but still Chinese superstar, Kui Li Fang. He's only 53, 54 rated. He did grow a little bit, and by a little bit, I mean like seven or eight overall in that first season. So hopefully his overall kicks on along with Dat Boy Jr. And then there was um, some slight feedback. Apparently there was one player that you blokes wanted me to sign and uh, I mean, yeah, if you if you want me to. Marvelous Nakamba, it wouldn't be a Dat Boy series without him. So hopefully we will at some point bring him back because yeah, I don't think I can do it right now. It's not like I can just buy Marvelous Nick Campbell whenever I want to. I'm Forest Green Rovers and this man is a legend. He's, um, he's a little above Forest Green Rovers pay grade at the moment, but hopefully we will one day be on his level. Let's be real, okay? We don't deserve Marvelous Nick Campbell, but we will. This Marvelous man will be wearing the green of Forest Green Rovers very soon, but for now, you just have to wait for us, Nakamba. You know what? Scratch that. We'll wait for you. In the meantime, if anyone else cool comes along, then yeah, maybe for sure I'll, I'll sign them up. But I, I really don't know. I don't know who I potentially will come across in this career mode that makes me go, hey, I might want to sign this bloke. Just speaking of new signings too, by the way, we did bring in a couple of pre-contract signings just to help us compete in League One. Guys like McLean, Crawford, Leonard's a big signing I'm happy with, Yadam, who's a left back, but can play at right back. A pretty much entirely new back for Mika, a goalkeeper who's a little higher rated. We've got Mendez, uh, Lang, is that how we pronounce it? Basically what I'm saying is we've got a pretty good team now for League One. We should be able to compete and hopefully not go straight back down, which would suck, and hopefully maybe even just potentially go back to back with promotion. But anyway, the second season officially gets underway right now with these five drills. The first set of drills we'll be giving Dat Boy Jr. in this season. Let's hope for some good-ish results in the very first one. We've got weeks and months, really an entire season of this. We get an A for the advanced free kicks, Average results everywhere else, really. But it is the beginning of a long, long season, so there's many more drills to come. We are approaching the first game of League One as, again, we get back into drills, and hopefully now we might see him get up to a 57 if it wants to give me one good shift in the training room. Finally, there we go, 57. He's gone up with his first overall, and it took a little over a month to get him up by one overall. Is that concerning? I think it is just a little bit, considering that... We are chasing uh, Dat Boy at the end of his second season. He got 73 with his overall. We'll see if Dat Boy's, uh, you know, natural growth kicks in at any point. If he just starts soaring with his overall without training. But if it doesn't, I don't see us getting to a 73. That's for sure. And to give you a little bit of an idea as to why Marvellous Nakamba is a bit out of our league at this point, it's because he's 76 overall and worth 7.5. Five million pounds. Like, we just don't have the cash. We couldn't pay him the wage that he wanted, or deserved, should we say. And there's no way that we'd ever pay the transfer budget needed for him. So, again, Marvellous Nakamba is just a bit of a pipe dream at this point. Do not worry, though, because I will be making signings at some point as we continue to wow 
give him drills, uh, let's take a moment here. We've been training him up and it took him ages to get to a 57. Now out of nowhere, he's gone up by plus three in his overall, and then of course an extra plus one through training to get to plus four now. I hope you're ready boys, because this is the season that Dat Boy Jr. sets the world on fire. Anyway, we are finally underway with this League One season. I'm now going to just be training week in, week out. I'll show you some drills. I won't show you all, but basically we are going to start cracking on now. I'm not going to make any signings in this window. I'll probably make some signings in January, and we might stop and play a couple of actual games. As a matter of fact, I'm I'm kind of thinking up an idea for Dat Boy Jr. Seven foot Dat Boy Jr. We are off to a basically perfect start in the league, winning every single one of our games so far. So that's amazing. We did unfortunately get knocked down in the Carabao Cup by Bournemouth. But hey, at least we're in the checkered trade trophy. Now taking a look at Dat Boy's stats after we reach October. And he's now up to a plus eight. Again, training him every single, every single time. And it's just... Like, this is all natural growth. Barely any of this is forced through training. Yes, I mean, his stats are still going up in part. Like, his long shot's up to a 96 now. That's his highest rated stat. We could very well see the first 99 rated stat maybe by the next win, maybe even by next month. And look, lads, there was something I wanted to attempt at some point this season, considering that we're doing so well in the league. And I'll show you the league table eventually. I'll, I'll, but just know we're doing bloody well. I wanted to trial what it was like to put... A seven foot tall player, even if they weren't a goalkeeper, in between the sticks. I did this with Dad Boy when he was five feet tall and he was an absolute superstar, obviously. Incredible, best goalkeeper of all time. But how is Dad Boy Jr. a seven foot tall outfielder going to go as a goalfielder? And take a look at the fixture we've got coming up. It's Portsmouth, the team that Dad Boy used to play for. Here's the league table really quickly too, by the way. We are sort of in contention for maybe automatic promotion. Who knows? We could finish top of the league one. That'd be sensational. But we're definitely going okay at the moment. We find ourselves pretty comfortably in fourth. But we are doing it for this one game and one game only. Portsmouth FC is going to have to deal with a seven foot tall striker in goal. How is it going to go? Time will tell. That boy was a man of many talents, ladies and gentlemen. Is his son, that boy Jr., going to be just as good in between the sticks? He's only got an extra two feet to work with, for crying out loud. Oh my God, would you look at this. Would you look at this. He looks like he's in his element. He looks like a beast. Okay, we'll see if we can get the win in this game. But on top of that, I'm interested to see if that boy Jr. is going to end up being tested. Who knows? Maybe even if we've got a bit of a lead for ourselves, I might... Uh, I might let a couple chances go through and just see what happens. Oh, slipped in nicely here. Mendes Lang. Low cross. Not to the player I needed to, but McLean will still get it through. And clean on through makes it 1-0. Look at this. We take Lewis Malt off immediately. And this bloke gets one chance and buries it near post. Why did I even bring this Malt bloke on? All he's done is rob games of that boy, Jr. Oh, Oh, you're taking the piss now. It's 2-0. We're just moving it and passing it around like we're Man City or something. Look at this little toe poke. The defender comes crawling out and just finishes in the bottom corner. Has he got the pace to burn? He does. Oh, it's a little stumble. Not a penalty. It will be a free kick. And look who's immediately... I'll be honest. I was thinking about getting him to take it anyway. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, all right then. Okay. Will we be able to pull it off though? I'm not sure. I don't know. This. I don't think so. Nah, I didn't think so. But the keeper, he's still up for it. That boy, Junior. Sharp turn this. Finesse. Oh, look at this. He's an absolute giant. He has skied that. Oh, that boy, Junior. There you go. Punch is clear. Very good work. Great ball in there. Oh, that's three. Okay, you know what? We're leading 3-0. I'm feeling pretty comfortable now. I might start testing that boy, Junior, just a little bit. And, oh no, boys, no, I didn't want to do the offside trap. Boys, no, that boy Junior. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, he hasn't won me over immediately. That's uh, not the best of starts. Yeah, Crawford looking for an option. Oh no, he's turned it over horribly. Through goes Pittman. That boy Junior. Oh yes, he's distracted him and he's made a miss. Good job. Well, I'll tell you what, this is a genuine good attack themselves. Chaplin the save. Oh, he couldn't contain. Like, just... Just hold it, mate. Oh my god, look at this. How does he not hold that? And without fail, straight to fucking Naismith. I'm pretty confident any time he's had to make a save. That boy, you're not really filling me with an awful lot of confidence. I'm almost starting to think maybe I shouldn't be playing a striker at goalkeeper. God, they're in here. 
Ah, oh, three. Can you just... Any shot on target, mate. I know... It doesn't even feel like he's made a save. He's made one or two. Yeah, sure. A punch cleared from a corner and maybe that one little parry that he literally gave straight to fucking Naismith for their second. But could he deal with any shot? Like, just at least one. Like, the bloke doesn't even try to make the save until it's already past his fucking shoulder and in the net. All right, great. Well, um, this is not going the way I was hoping it would. <gasps> Horrible turnover. Oh my goodness, we could do this. Back post, back post, back post. Control! Oh my fucking god! How'd that not end the net? Oh my, did that make sense? English? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Stay in front. Blocked. And that's gonna, what the fuck was that? He's just, he, Chaplin completely lost it, ran over the line for a, well, it's not even gonna be a goal kick. It's the end of the game, 3-3, three, three, and um, okay, that experiment didn't go too well. My curiosity got the better of me, and now we are leaving with only a point. I probably also could have won the game if I didn't, uh, let them stroll right through my defense to test that boy junior. Okay, so lesson learned. I won't do that again. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's just continue on with training and some good results here. I'm going to continue to advance through pretty much every single month now without really stopping. Okay, lads, so we're in November and we are finally seeing that boy increase by plus 10. Double digits now overall change for the season only in November. 66 overall. It's kind of crazy to think that we started this at 56 and... We're chasing that boy's 73 at the end of the second season. We may potentially see him, if he doesn't really substantially slow down toward the end of the second season, not to surpass that boy, but go miles ahead of him. He's slowly starting to make some more appearances now too, which is which is a good sign. So yeah, we will hopefully he will kick off. Now into December, that boy only goes up by one in his overall, so maybe we are starting to see him slow down just a little bit. If it's only 67, and only a couple more months left until the end of the season, then maybe 73, mid-70s is probably where he's going to finish at. And finally, we make it to the halfway stage of this season. We've made January 2019. It's here. Plus 13 overall change. Quigley Fang 2, by the way, is uh, doing a respectable job of a uh, plus 4, but um, it's hard for me to give him games at this point. Something else probably worth noting is the fact that Dapboy Jr. now finally, after training him up for so long, has a couple of 99 rated stats. Long shots, shot power, short passing, and finishing. So he's deadly from outside the box. And on top of that, his dribbling is getting pretty good as well. I'm very happy with the way he's tracking on at the moment. He will surely beat Dap Boy's 73 at the end of this season. It's been great except for the whole putting him in goal and he conceded three. That Against Portsmouth, that wasn't great. I would be mad if it was any other club but Portsmouth that fucking just absolutely ruined Dap Boy Jr. But hey, whatever. It's it's Dap Boy's old club hazing his son. That's that's cool. I don't really mind Portsmouth these days, you know. We, we've had some pretty good times in career mode. The fact that they were Dap Boy's first ever club. The fact that I did a road to glory with them and had a great career mode with them as well. Armstrong, Dembele, Van Ginkle, Sergio Roberto, and Kenny Prince Schwab. It also looks like we finally heard back from our scouted future star, Kenny Prince Schwab. That is going to be our man, Kenny Prince Schwab. What a hero. Can he finish? Kenny Prince Schwab scores on his debut. Beautiful debut. It's an assist and a goal for KPS. Kenny Prince Schwab, ladies and gentlemen. Remember the bloody name. The J Bucks medal. The player of the season. This could be it. It could be two. Kenny Prince Schwab. He'll get in on the action as well. And we are going to be crowned Premier League champions at Old Trafford. Portsmouth are the back-to-back -back Premier League champions. This is the Champions League final. Here we go. Florenzi. Good ball back into there. Van Ginkel with a strike. Van Ginkel scores a brilliant goal to win maybe the Champions League final. And now it's going to be that man, Kenny Prince Schwab, to lift the Champions League trophy. I wonder what Kenny Prince Schwab is up to these days. Schwab, is he still... Yeah, he's still, he's still kicking about these days. All right, good on him. That's interesting, you know. I, I wonder who he's playing for these days. What? Hang on a minute, what? Kenny Prince Schwab is a free agent. How did I not spot this? I can't quite believe it. I, we were having a great time at Portsmouth. I thought he would kick on and sign for a massive club, really continue his career. He's quality. He's still 84 rated and 23 years of age. I mean, why is he not playing for Barca, for Real Madrid, for, for Bayern or anyone like that? Surely he's... He hasn't been waiting for me this whole time, has he? I know there are some players that just love their managers and want to play for them the whole career, but I've never seen anyone turn down offers from massive clubs for... <laughs> All right, if no one else is going to sign you and you're not going to play for anyone else, then I may as well bring you in. Kenny Prince Schwab, step into my office.
This would be a coup like no other. I can't believe we're potentially bringing back a career mode legend here. But of course, it had to come down to wages, which to be fair, we've got the cash for. This man is 23 years of age, 84 overall, and we're paying him 37 grand a week? Or maybe I'm just being self-centered. Maybe he's not coming back to play for me again. Maybe... Maybe he just wants to play with that boy Junior. I think by now everyone's seen the glimpses that his father showed and every player on the planet wanted to play with that boy at his peak. You know what, mate? If that's what you want to get paid, I will not barter you down a single cent. Welcome to Forest Green Rovers, Kenny Prince Schwab. But now that we have indeed signed KPS, our first ever 80 rated player at Forest Green Rovers, we've got a couple of 70 odd rated players here or there, but now we've got our first player of real quality. And I'm thinking, lads, we've got this FA Cup game against Brighton. I don't know if they're still a Premier League side or not, but they're still obviously Premier League-ish quality. So I would like to think that uh, they're tough opponents. Despite that, I reckon I want to do something special in the FA Cup this season. I want to go on a little bit of a run with Forest Green Rovers. With Dat Boy Jr. and Kenny Prince Schwab leading us, anything is possible. Please, come on. We want to do well in the FA Cup, please. Oh, it's a 2-2 it's two -two draw. We have to play the replay. But how about this, though? We've already got Dat Boy Jr. and Kenny Prince Schwab linking up both with goals. It's a replay, yes, but we are still alive in the FA Cup. And for the last game in January, this FA Cup replay, please. We want, we, please, we want, we want to do well in the FA Cup. Let's do it. It is a 1-1 draw, but 5-4 on penalties, come on! We are hopefully doing something, I don't know what, but something in this FA Cup. Time's going to tell whether or not we do anything in the FA Cup, and if, and this is, I guess, the main thing, do we get promoted to the championship. One last checkup on Dat Boy Jr. before we get underway to the end of the season. He's currently on 71 overall, plus 15. He's gone up by... Oh my goodness, there's no way that he is going to finish below 73 or even level with that boy when he hit 73 at the end of his second season. That boy Jr. is going to surpass his father in this regard. That's unbelievable. But it is now time. The push to the end of the second season with that boy Jr. is underway. So, I said I wanted to do something special in the FA Cup. I just had to pause a little bit. We're not even at the end of the season, but we're doing ridiculously well. We are in the FA Cup quarterfinals, and guess who we drew? Manchester United. We already had Arsenal. I mean, they're a pretty big club, but Manchester United, okay there. And it's not just a game against Manchester United. It's a game against Manchester United at Old Trafford. We have had a couple of games in a row, so a few of the players are tired, including Dat Boy Jr. But, I mean, come on, man. It's Manchester United at Old Trafford in the FA Cup. I've got to play him. He needs to play the game. I need to play the game. Let's get straight into it. Who the hell is that bloke? I don't know who he is because he's not got a real face. And 
off of the fact that he's like really, really short and has blonde hair, I mean, I'm thinking like a like a Lorenzo Insigne, but Insigne's got a real face in the game. I don't know if this bloke's actually going to play, but Mourinho, I don't know what you're cooking up, mate, but whatever. It's the FA Cup. It's the quarterfinals. Manchester United away. Let's do this. Okay, so in the lineups before this game, apparently this bloke's name is Max Power. I've never heard of him before, but apparently he's been killing it for Manchester United this season. Apparently they love him down in Manchester, but it's time to silence these Theatre of Dreams fans. Let's get this win. Right up the middle, I see the pace. Oh, brilliant from Ryan Leonard. I don't think we'll be able to slip him in here. Or maybe we won't have to. Kenny Prince Schwab's offside. He scores. He's off and celebrating. Finally, he's realized. God, I can see that run. Oh, maybe now still. Surely now. Leonard, the shot. Oh, just had a bit of pressure on him from Manage. And it sails over the crossbar. My God, we've had such a good start to this game. Dangerous. Oh, dangerous ball. Get in front. Fucking it's... I, oh my god, I made fun of him at the start, but it's Max Power! We were playing so well, and now this little fuck is fucking... Who are you, Max Power? Who the fuck is this guy? Honestly, it pisses me off how I don't even know who this bloke is. He just... Bottom corner, powers it past Mika, and Manchester United take a lead. That's probably their first or second attack of the game. We've been fucking great, and yet we're down. Oh, and isn't Mourinho happy about it too, you fucking little... Jesus Christ, who is this guy? I'm... All right, come on. Chances on here. We have options, you know. I really like the look at this, but Rashford, who's gone all the way back. I can surely cut this back. Post. Mendes Lang blocked by my own fucking player. We can't do this against Manchester United. Why is the guy that I know the least about in this Manchester United team the one that's setting them on fire? Fuck no. Come on, boys. We can sort him. Sort him out. Stop him. Cross back. Post. That's... He's cut it back to Mkhitaryan. He isn't even in Manchester United anymore. He still is in this one. Power gets the assist. Our FA Cup dream is dying. It's being killed by this guy. At first, it looks like he's just going to run out like a fucking moron. But then he cuts back the most amazing ball to Mkhitaryan, who toe pokes it. All we need is one. All we need is one. All we need is... Oh, my God. He's in the post. No. Power. Shifts. Don't tell me he's... Oh, my God. Now he gets a third... Mkhitaryan just, just, it feels like they've got so much pace about us as well. Fuck, this is getting ugly. How does, I, how do I keep turning the ball over in my own fucking half so often? Max Power, stay in front of him, please. Slips in Pogba. Oh, I nearly had a hat-trick of fucking assists against us, Max Power. Nope, in the end, not to be. FA Cup dream, dead at Old Trafford. Our, our dream, convincingly enough, is dead at the theatre. Well, the big talking point today is this fucking bloke. I have no idea who he is. He provided two assists for Mkhitaryan, scored himself. He's fucking ridiculous. I don't know who he is. I need to check him out. Holy shit, people. Every every stat that this guy has is 99 rated. Like, look at it. It's all, all of it. How has this guy slipped under only just my radar? I swear to God. I suppose I can kind of understand the 99 on the back of his shirt now. I... Fuck, I, I guess he's earned it. Well, I mean, our FA Cup dream is over, unfortunately. Out in the quarterfinals to Manchester United. But we are still on for the promotion to the championship. But just leave it with me. We'll hopefully take care of business. I'll continue to train Dat Boy Jr. And we'll see where we are at the end of the season. And so, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Finally at the end of the League One season. And how did Forest Green Rovers do? Well, the good news is, ladies and gentlemen, that we are promoted up into the championship. We finish in second place, unfortunately not first, and unfortunately only a point behind Preston North End. There's no more football left for Forest Green Rovers, no more football left for Dap Boy, and as we take a look at his stats, we see that even though he didn't end up making the plus 50 appearances that some of the other blokes did because of his low overall at the start, we do see that in 32 games, Dat Boy Jr. racked up 14 goals and 5 assists. Not bad. He finishes with 76 overall. That is, he's a gold card. He went from being rated 1 
to a gold card in Ultimate Team in just two seasons. He also, ladies and gentlemen, finishes three overall ahead of Dat Boy at the end of the second season. So, the race for who's going to become 99 rated first, at the moment, Dat Boy Jr. is in front. He may reach a 99 overall before his father did. Can you believe it? And we have made it to the final day. It's about time we end this second season with Dat Boy Jr. We got Dat Boy Jr. up to a 76 overall. He's on track to potentially beat his father to a 99 rating. It's all going good. And I say bring on season three. Thank you all for watching, guys. My name's The Masterbucks. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And have a good one.